Ladies and gentlemen, we have another case of we're having it one way during the campaign and now that the campaign's over, uh, we're going to have it a different way. I'll link to another video I did documenting something similar to this where Hussein Obama said he wasn't going to deny the constitutional rights of terrorists and other idiots uh, that were holding at Guantanamo and, you know, interrogation and, you know, conducting illegal searches with that evil Patriot Act. It's different now. Now that he's unfortunately president. The Hussein Obama administration argued in court documents filed Friday that four former detainees at the Guantanamo Bay detention camp who have sued over their treatment have no constitutional rights. The suit was brought by four British men who say they were beaten, shackled in painful stress positions, threatened by dogs, and subjected to extreme medical care during their time in the lockup at the U.S. Navy base in southeast Cuba. Extreme medical care. What'd they do? Go to Britain for their health care and get it from the National Health Service? They also say they were harassed while practicing their religion, including forced shaving of their beards, banning or interrupting their prayers, denying them prayer mats and copies of the Quran, 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 and throwing a copy of the Quran in a toilet. I wonder how long it's going to be before Newsweek picks up on this again and, and does another story about a uh, Quran being flushed down the toilet when it really didn't happen. But anyway, Obama's going to take away, he's taking away their rights. They don't have constitutional rights. These terrorists don't. Uh, he sounds a lot like George W. Bush, doesn't he? Hmm.